Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania locked Ultimate Iron Man. After recently maxing my Ultimate Iron Man, I decided to up the ante. To forge my own journey from scratch. No banking, no trading, but this time, I can't leave Mauritania. All leading up to eventually taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. This video will be all about the medium clue scroll, but more importantly, obtaining a medium clue scroll casket. We're hunting one of the six unique god cloaks, which is my best cape in the region, and alongside this we also have the extremely rare chance of receiving ranger boots, which would also be my best boots for taking on the theater of blood. There's a total of 146 medium clue scroll steps in runescape, and after our grueling 100 hour process in the last video, we unlocked the infamous 10th Mauritania step. This gave us a 1 in 14.6 chance in completing a step inside of Mauritania. We just might have a chance at finishing a clue, but it's going to be easier said than done. The goal is to complete one medium clue scroll, and I'm giving myself 14 days to do it. Ah, the beautiful aroma of Tarn's Lair. It's, it's truly, I don't know, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know why I like this place so much. So, I need to build a medium clue stash unit. Obviously, the one near the mausoleum, because that is where I'll be able to store the mithril plate skirt and the longbow. I don't want to be carrying those on me at all times, so I need two oak planks. And as you may know by now, only way to get oak planks is level 40 to 50 zombies inside of Tarn's Lair. Hey, 85 strength, all with a rune scimitar. That's pretty nice, man. I'm gonna switch to defense now. I'm only 3k away from 73 defense, so I might as well. There she is, 73 defense, very nice. Oak plank number one, 171 kills for the first oak plank. A quick little armor repair. There goes the cash stack. 76. My favorite blue man in the entire game. Oh, thank you very much. This is going to be 16 hunter, actually. Hey, look at that, 16 Hunter, 11 levels to go. What a great way to start the morning with Oak Plank number two, finally. 180 kills for the second Oak Plank. All right, just gonna grab a hammer and a saw, and I also got all the nails that I actually need for the stash unit from the zombies themselves, which saved me a lot of time. All right, let's pull the trigger, there we go. A medium stash unit come, oh god damn. But yeah, I can now just store the maple longbow and the mithril plate skirt here, and uh, I don't have to get them ever again. So this is the only stash unit in Mauritania that I'll actually be able to build. Uh, or, you know, the one that I can actually take advantage of, but that is a really nice one because those items took forever, and if I had to drop them after this little clue juggling experiment, then I'd probably cry. All right, final preparations, I'm gonna harvest some of these, and we are going to make some strength potions, and I actually want them for a particular use, which I will explain later. Hey, right, two more Limport Roots. I think we're good with that, honestly. I was gonna make all 12 of these originally, but this is going to be 24 doses. So the inventory is all set, and so begins my 14-day test to complete one clue scroll while locked in Mauritania. Firstly, I'd like to get into the process and the math. What is it going to take in order to complete a clue scroll strictly inside of Mauritania? As I explained in the last video, the odds of me completing a single clue scroll with three back-to-back -back steps in Mauritania is 1 in 10,125. Unrealistic, to say the least. Instead, I'll be hunting at minimum three separate clue scrolls that all have their first step in Mauritania. The game tracks clue scrolls as one collective entity, so if I have one step completed on each, it's the same as having one clue with three steps completed. You can only have one clue scroll in your inventory at all times, and on every kill of a monster, the game is checking if you already own a clue scroll before it gives you a new one. This means that to obtain a second, third, or fourth clue scroll, I'll have to have none in my inventory. So I'll have to juggle these clue scrolls on the ground so that they don't despawn. Clue scrolls, unlike most items in the game, stay on the ground for three minutes before despawning. So as long as I'm re-dropping them before that three minute mark, I can hold several clue scrolls on the ground and still be able to obtain more. Also, if you complete a step on your clue scroll and then obtain another one, it'll wipe all your progress. So I have to obtain several clue scrolls and then complete them simultaneously. This is the reason behind why this is so difficult. I don't just have to get three more Tanya clue scrolls, but I have to get all of them in the same session of gameplay. Courtesy of this Google Doc created by several cookies, which saved me a lot of math, with my current stats and gear, I believe I'm able to do approximately 150 kills per hour as long as I'm consistently flicking my offensive prayers. 
I was originally planning on 13 hour sessions, but decided to dial it back to 10 and will extend these sessions on a case by case basis. The chance of receiving a casket doing 1500 kills in one session is 9.7%, meaning that on average it's going to take me 103 hours of gameplay in order to receive a single clue casket. This also means that I'm going to collect 100 hours worth of seeds that I'll be able to farm while going for the Abyssal Whip in the upcoming episodes. And so it begins. Let's put this rune scimitar to the test. So you might be wondering why the strength potions, they're not actually for complete regular use, they are only and strictly for if I get a second Mauritania step. See with only having two Mauritania steps, there's only a 5% chance that you actually finish the clue, and that's because there's a chance that you get a back to back step on one of those two. If you have three steps, then you have a 40.5% chance at completing the clue, assuming a 33% chance to get the casket, and a 3 in 14.6 chance to have another fourth Mauritania step in those clues. I know it might be getting really confusing, but basically those strength potions are to make sure I get that third clue in the session. Oh, Mr. GD, I'm in such a good mood, thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little science experiment here, actually. Um, I am currently three lamps away from 17 Hunter, so I'm gonna keep this one lamp. And I have this theory, because I saw a video earlier, it's called like five genie lamps back to back to back to back. Um, I'm going to keep this lamp and see if it increases the chance of a genie spawning if I already have a lamp. What? No! Okay, that must be a coincidence. That has to be- I don't believe that for a second. I mean, I will take it, that's really cool. Uh, but this definitely needs more testing. Holy shit! Starting day two off with some garlic. Yeah, I know, pretty crazy, right? Uh, so the wiki currently says that garlic significantly uh, actually weakens vampires. Uh, I don't believe it does because I tested this on the unrestricted worlds, but uh, we're going to see if it does. Uh, I do have access to garlic. If you didn't know, there was some garlic in that chest. So if you ever want some garlic, I swear this is the most common clue. Pollen of Nietzsche. Almost 86 strength. That's definitely not Mauritania. The real question is, why do I have this bag on me? So I'm just gonna, yeah, get rid of that. Ah, uh, Piscarilius, unfortunate. That is my first time hitting the rare drop table on these guys. That is an extremely rare drop. Tooth half of key. 86 strength, the first strength level of the clue juggling grind. That's awesome. I'm really excited to see how many strength levels I get from this. It's gonna be very interesting. I mean, that's pretty That's pretty close. I'm gonna drop my clue just in case I get one. What? All right, this is going to be my last clue of the day, which uh, knowing my luck, this is probably your, f oh my, you're actually joking. You're actually joking. It's a Mauritania step. No way. At the end of my session, I, <laughs> I'm okay, well I have to I have to take advantage now. I'm I was gonna go to bed. Look at that, that's so close. Alright, well the, the time trial starts. It's time, man. I'm gonna strength potion up. We're gonna make the absolute most of this. If I can get this third step, then we're up to a 40% chance for completion. Uh, currently, I have a 5% with just two, which is, you know, it's decent, I guess. But yeah, of course, of course it's at the end of my session and not in the morning. That would have been so much better. And another book of knowledge to the collection. Very, this is going to be 17 Hunter. And there we go, 17 Hunter. I can now catch baby implings if only I had a net to do so. Uh, but yeah, 10 more levels, 10 more levels until I can actually barehand them. Oh, beautiful. I'm so excited. First time having three clues on the ground. Let's see what it is, please. Oh, it's Arceus Library. No. Also, I know I'll probably be getting a ton of questions about it in the comments. Why am I wearing armor if I'm prayer flicking? Because obviously my Barrow's armor is degrading. Uh, hopefully I have some footage for you from the unrestricted worlds. But if I don't, 
From when I was testing it, the vampires actually seem to drain your stats at an accelerated rate if you don't have armor on. So that along with just having the extra protection for when my prayer is off is worth it to me, especially since I have all the money to pay for repairs. I have arrived for my spade. I should still have about a minute on the timer when I get back, so I should be safe here to just walk it out, but uh, I will be needing this since I will be ending my session pretty soon. I'm going to try to get this third clue in my final about 30 minutes here before I just get off for the night, uh, but it doesn't seem too likely. All right, I have hit the four hour mark on my session. I am very tired, so I'm just going to go for it. I've gotten six clues since my second Mauritania step, but none of them have been uh, Mauritania steps. I just said that twice in the same sentence. Anyway. Unfortunate. Lumbridge. All right, we still have one more chance. Let me go get this other clue. Uh, we, we could still do it. I just have to bring it over to Drezel. Drezel, I'm begging you, buddy. Drezel, I will split these ranger boots with you if you just hook me up with another Mauritania step. Seven is the answer, and the reveal, please. No, that's Zaya, that's so unfortunate. Ugh, all right, well we tried. That was our first real attempt, uh, so it took three days to get a second Mauritania step. Thank you everyone for coming out, welcome. Uh, this will be day four, starting off with 63 Slayer because I'm only 500 XP away, so I was like, all right, why not? And there we go, 63 Slayer, and I can now kill Spiritual Rangers, which, uh, you know, maybe that'll happen in the future, you know, God Wars comes over to uh, Mauritania. Hey, 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 87 Stray, that's crazy, dude. I think that actually gets me a max hit, which is really nice. I should now be able to hit 21s. Uh, as long as my stats don't get drained, I should be able to hit that, so should be speeding up the process quite a bit. Maybe I have a couple extra kills per hour now, so. Bro, what does this tooth have? You already know what's going on. We've got 42 blood runes in the inventory. I'm going to try and get the Torag hammers or the Varak flail or obviously the two Carols pieces that I'm still missing. Those are still high priority. But a Varak flail or Torag hammers would actually very much speed up this clue juggling process. Uh, I believe they would give me about 20 to 30 extra kills per hour, so first chest. Darok is so slow, man. You can just teleport out of there. Chest number two, nothing too interesting. Bet you weren't expecting this. 65 magic water beast. Right, this is most likely going to be my final chest before I resume clue juggling because I only have 20 blood runes. Woo, okay. <laughs> Another duplicate. That's, that's pretty funny. Um, actually... Mine is only 25%, mine is 25, so I mean, I just got a fresh Varax Brassard, I will take it. The thing is, it's like illegal not to go for the back-to-back, -back, so I have to do at least one more. You know, I'm not, I'm not even mad about it, not even mad about it. I get to alk my 25% one, and now I get a fresh one to wear, I'm, I'm down. Hello, Mr. Genie, okay. This is not this is not going to be a hunter level, but it gives me another chance to test that theory that I started at the beginning of the video. Will I get another genie back to back? All right, guys, the theory is busted. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't work. It's, it's not foolproof, but I can get 28 XP away from 18 hunter, so that's nice. Ah, uh, getting so strong, 88 strength, absolutely beautiful. And another lamp to the collection. This is going to be 18 hunter, actually. And in fact, not only 18 Hunter, but also 1300 total level on the account. That is actually really sweet. No, the one Mauritania step that I can't do. Dance in the center of Canifus. So I can't actually get the green gnome top for this. Okay, you know, that puts me in a much better mood. It is the first genie of the day. Um, which slightly makes up for the fact that I'm, what, four days dry now for a Mauritania step. I've, I've kind of lost track. And we are now 128 XP away from 19 Hunter. Hey, Rain RC. This is actually going to be so nice for Barrows, by the way. I have 38 Rain R seeds currently. You, know, you just love to see it when you're five days dry on a Mauritania step. You know, it's just a little bit of cannabis in your life. I love it. Well, 89 strength. Take a look at that. You know, I figured I'd have a whip at this point, but at the same time, whip doesn't have a strength setting. So I figured, uh, you know, I might as well do this. Uh, I'll be hitting like instantly 35s with the whip once I get it. 
Uh, but it, it is crazy that I've got this far with a rune scimitar. We have been blessed on this day. How beautiful. Yes, please. I'm actually going to hang on to this book of knowledge. I want to test something for science. Uh, I know you can get a second genie if you already have a lamp, but can you get another book of knowledge? Because I've never seen that happen. It's so close, man. It's like, it's like across the way. I can see it. Please, I'm six days dry. Just mercy. So I didn't actually pick it up, but if you look in my chat box currently, you'll see something pretty interesting. Uh, the Torstal seed that you see there is actually my first Torstal seed in 14,000 kills, which means it is ridiculously rare. I didn't even know if they dropped it or not, but they apparently do, so that's pretty damn cool. Speaking of seeds, the seed collection is looking incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, the first 90 stat on the account, 90 strength all done with the rune scimitar and i believe i can now hit 22s which is really freaking nice uh so that should speed up the kills per hour uh and hopefully the luck turns around but yeah that's that's awesome to look at it looks so insanely clean blue scroll number four of the <gasps> south of the slayer tower oh my god <laughs> yes <laughs> yes oh my god i've been waiting so long. six days man wait no seven days i think yeah this marks a week i believe um, I've lost count, honestly, but that is, oh, first Mauritania clue. 480k away from yet another strike level. We might be getting that one as well. So I've held on to this book of knowledge for about two days now, and I've decided it's just, it's better to use it because I have not seen a genie or a dunce since. Uh, so yeah, there's 19 hunter and only one level away from the 20s. I'm not gonna lie to you guys here. It has not been a great day for clue juggling. It, it really hasn't. Five clues so far in 1100 kills. Of course, the first random event after I use the book of knowledge, after being two days dry of a genie or anything, the method clearly needs even more testing. I mean, I just, I keep having either these coincidental encounters or there is an actual formula here. You know, I'm just, I'm gonna treat myself, okay? I spent seven days getting a Mauritania clue. I'm gonna head to Barrows, do uh, maybe a couple chests. And uh, once again, we're going for one of the four items that you see on the screen currently. I'm gonna show you guys a trick, the patented 73% reward potential. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. That's so good. I, I can't like, look at me. Oh my, the maximum range bonus, full, nearly full carols, excluding the crossbow. Absolutely nuts, man. That is actually so ridiculous, but so good for me. Back to the clues we go. I don't know if this day can get much better, but we're sure as hell gonna try. Okay, I swear this theory is correct. There's actually no way this is a coincidence at this point. Do no- Oh god, Acorn, you are playing with my feelings right now. Thought my theory was correct. Hey, uh, you boys ever seen two random events appear at the same time? Because I know I have. Oh my god, look at it. That, my friends, is a second Mauritania step in the session. Of course, it is at the end of my session that I get the second clue, as usual. Uh, but I have to stay up. I have to make the most of this. All right, this is this is officially a race against the clock. Let's let's see how long it takes. Oh, the first clue after 400 vampires dry, please. Oh my God, that's a third Mauritania step. No way, I'm act- I'm- oh. So as it stands currently, as it stands currently, I now have a 40.58% chance to complete a clue scroll here. I have three Mauritania steps. This can actually happen. This can legitimately happen. I was not expecting to get another Mauritania step. I mean, th this was just a complete Hail Mary, but I am gonna try to get a fourth while I have the time. If I can get a fourth, that pr almost seals the deal. That's about a 75% chance for completion. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my absolute hardest, but um, I mean, 40%, you know, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm very tired, so. So as you can see, all my armor is broken and this is why I am drained by six. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm feeling it, okay. I am so tired and this is the first time I've ever gotten three clue scrolls. So we're gonna go with it. 40% chance, 40.5% chance that I finish 
a clue scroll here. Please, please, please. All right, here goes number one. This is, uh, th I believe this one is the Ulysius one, yeah. So, speak to Ulysius is this clue. Do we get a back-to-back -back step? This is one of our three chances to get a back-to-back. -back. No, we don't. All right, I'm not losing hope yet, not losing hope. All right, Drezzle. Come on, Drezzle, give me the good news, please. Just a back-to-back -back step, ease my stress here. Please. No. Karamja, unfortunate, all right. Two steps completed. We have one final chance. This next step can either be a casket, can be a back-to-back -back Mauritania step, or it is the end of our clue scroll journey, please. First time ever truly being able to possibly complete a clue. Please, after 18,000 vampires, this is the only thing I wanna see. Oh, that is depressing. <laughs> I don't wanna look at it, but I know I have to, I have to. Damn it. No, 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 no. After 120 hours and being so close, so close, man, so incredibly close. You can't always win, man. You can't always win. So uh, in total, we had the one attempt with two clues, which was 5%. Then we had this one, which is a 40.5% chance of completion. So two solid attempts, uh, but we're not, we're not leaving empty handed. So it does look like clue scrolls are going to be an end game battle for this account. The rune scimitar just simply wasn't enough. I've killed 18,000 vampires in the last 13 days. I do have my next three goals outlined for me though. I mean, the abyssal whip, rune boots, and the combat bracelet with those three upgrades, I think I can more than double my kills per hour, which would actually make this grind reasonable and potentially even consistent. Also, I need all three of those for the Theater of Blood anyway, but speaking of the Theater of Blood, I've got some interesting findings to share. I've been speaking with a cold one for a while now. First Iron Man to solo the Theater of Blood. We've been discussing how realistic a Theater of Blood clear would be with a team restricted to Mauritania only gear. He ran the setup I've been thinking about, which would be the full Carols, Amulet of the Damned, maximizing inventory space, completely maxed out stats, along with a team consisting of two dedicated magic rolls. To sum it up, it just wasn't enough. His exact words were that to get a clear with this setup, all the planets need to align whilst there's a blue moon on Friday the 13th. This must also be the same day Jagex hides the poll results and enables an authenticator delay. He goes on to say that everything we theorycrafted within your restrictions doesn't net us more supplies after Soda Seg or make any rooms easier than what I've presented. So to sum it up, the Mauritania only theater of blood just isn't possible. Or is it? In the next episode, we find out how one impling is going to make it all possible. <laughs>